Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about this individual and how a lot of people are addicted to stealing. Maybe for the frill, maybe because they know there's very limited consequences for cards, right? Uh, compared to stealing other stuff. Um, when I was in law school, there was this guy. He came to the local game store. So I played as a very small local game store. Probably 600 square feet, maybe less. Uh, the owner of the game store, Graham, he lived in my apartment complex. And that's how I knew there was a game store. Uh, good guy. Um, eventually, the owner had changed uh, into, I think, Graham worked at a car wash. And then his boss bought the store or something like that. But the store had changed multiple times. And then eventually, it did close down. Now, the 45-year-old man that we're seeing here, he might be younger, he might be a little older. Um, this is a addiction, and the addiction is to stealing. We have even police officers stealing from Target and Walmart. And more recently, I was watching a video, Toy Federation. They're basically like, you know, it's a very high-quality channel, but they uh, sell like old toys, which I'm interested in. And they had a guy trying lowballing the owner of Toy Federations. And I was like, wait a second. Everyone in the comments was like, wait a second. I know that guy. And that guy was arrested for printing his own barcodes. And then he would put his own barcode on like Star Wars figures and then go to Walmart. And this was, I think, $100,000. His wife was also indicted, but I don't think she was arrested. Um, and this guy, I mean, the first thing he does... When he gets out of jail, is now he's at the conventions, like no one knows who he is, when literally everyone knows who he is. So the people who steal, um, there was also a guy who uh, stole PPP loans to buy a, a Charizard card. That's why he uses PPP loans to buy. Uh, unbelievable, but true. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, individuals in the hobby that, um, for a lack of a better word, I guess for a lack of a better hobby, their hobby is just stealing. Maybe they love stealing. Maybe that's what they want. But back to my story. So the guy would come in. I think I would see him like once every two months or once every month and a half. And all he would do is come in and steal. But back then, we didn't really have, the store didn't have a camera system um, that could detect that. Uh, there wasn't really like social media like you could post on Twitter today and people would actually see. We did have Twitter, but it wasn't like used for uh, social justice, I guess. But yeah, I didn't have a YouTube channel at that point. I had a YouTube channel, but I wasn't posting on said YouTube channel. Again, this was really back in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. He would come in, he would steal from you, he would steal from the store. It was actually on one of my videos commenting maybe five or six years ago. And I immediately, you know it's him. Because people who steal, they think like people forget. But people never forget. Like I never forgot it was him. I always knew, oh shit, that's him. Uh, by the way, he described it. And again, these are people who are just a plague on the society in general. Because who know, if they're stealing magic cards, who knows what else they're stealing and you're like, oh, they're only stealing from Walmart. No, if they're stealing from Walmart, they're going to obviously steal from your local game store too, which is an easier target than Walmart. Walmart at least has security guards, right, and scanners and stuff like that. I just found that this community really attracts a lot of criminals. And when I mean like attracts criminals, I mean, yeah, these are like legit serial criminals. Even the police officer, there was like that story about police officer and he would go to every Walmart and Target and just steal Pokemon cards. That was the mother effing police, guys. So if you don't think this is right, I mean, at, at the end of the day, like, this is... The fact that they caught this dude four times is just... And within a very short span, I think it's like within a month or less, is just... Um, the fact that he can talk. So one of... This is kind of the most jarring thing in this clip. He's actually talking to the individual. You see his hands go in the pocket and he touches his nose, right? Um, he's like, he asks the individual, hey, I want a box up there. So the individual obviously has to turn around to get the box. So then he puts the cards in his, in his pocket. But he understands the individual knows he has some cards. So he then gives free cards to that individual. 
this is pretty absurd, but at the same time, it, it is, I mean, I, I hate to say it, it is what it is, right? Um, you, have, you have to understand, this is, you know, when people steal, they steal. When people steal, they absolutely know what they're doing. They know exactly um, how to do it in the most, uh, in the most uh, curious way, right? It's it's hard to imagine in today's society that this guy didn't get some type of training. He didn't practice it before at home, or you no, know, it's it's sad. That's all I can say. It's it's very sad, and. And who knows how many other local game stores he's done this to. How, who knows how many Walmarts. That you catch a person one time. It doesn't mean that they stole one time. It means that they stole multiple times. This isn't his first rodeo, right? Uh, and they will continue to steal. Someone like this. And I've seen a lot of people in the Magic the Gathering community like this. And that's why I don't, like, you know, I... When I owned a store, when we... Um, we have a point of sa uh, sale system. So it records all the inventory. When we moved out, um, it was more, probably we're in the store area for a year and a half. We were missing about 20% of the inventory. And you might say, oh, did your employees steal it? Did the customers steal it? Did, you know, did it go missing? Did it get, never get delivered? Well, I mean, that's kind of the great mystery. Unless you're willing to look at film for over, over, uh, 20 40 50 like unless you know what was stolen and where it was it's going to be really hard even if you do have the film to detect when and where they go I, there's a video on a store who my friend owns and it's like a little kid she's five years old and clearly her parents have trained her how to do this and she's stuffing like she's stuffing clothing up her clothing and like you, you can't really address that because then you would go to jail. You yourself would go to jail if you accuse a kid of doing that, right? Especially a young kid. Um, and it was kind of the perfect scam. Like no one could call anyone out on it because what are you going to say? Hey, kid, lift off. You know, young kid, lift off. You know, did you steal that T-shirt? We're going to have to like pat you down. No, I mean you go you go to jail faster than anything. So. Like, it was literally the perfect crime. I mean, I'm, so you were like five years, I was like so surprised when I saw that video. That's probably the only video that was quite that jarring to me because like, what are you supposed to do as a store owner in that case? There's no way you can put the little kid in jail, right? And, and even if putting a little kid in jail, it means that you're going to go to jail. Like, it's one of the most bizarre things ever. It was like they had two kids. One of them was very little and then one of them was older. And... And, um, yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to try to see if I can see it. Do you recognize this family? Yeah, do you recognize this family of thieves? They stole at least two t-shirts. Watch the extended version of the family of thieves. Yeah, this stuff is just crazy, my dudes. Like, I, I've never seen anything like that because, like, at least if it's, like, an adult, you can say, hey, dude, stop stealing. But if it's, like, a little kid, what are you going to tell them? What, what can you even do?